Hello, AI4SR here. For those of you who saw my uh, last rotor project, the uh, Duino project that's on my uh, uh, YouTube website, I, uh, I upgraded it. As usual, I couldn't leave well enough alone. So um, <clears throat> I moved every all the power supplies and everything into, into my box um, and added a bunch um, of additional functions. Right now we're at the idle screen and you see at the top it displays the current date. It's got a time of date clock in it. It displays the current date and time. Uh, I can. It also gives, you can set a uh, program it to say a uh, uh, give you an ID warning every 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever you want. Um, also, uh, well, let me just show you some of the functions. I got a set button which uh, sets the rotor to any position you set this for. So I've set it for 275 there, which is west, and the rotor currently is set at north, five degrees, um, and I can go to any position I want. Uh, a reset button just resets the whole thing, shuts it on, turns the brakes on, whatever. Um, this is position one. You can program for a preset condition or position. Press that and it goes to that position. Uh, I think I have it set for zero, so let's see if I press it. It's one degree. So there, it went to one degree. Uh, let me, uh, here's another position. We'll do that. And you can see so it's going to 75 degrees. It tells you how long it's going to take that turn. Nine, eight, seven, five. Should stop at 75 or close. There we go. It stopped at uh, 70. Whoop. Stopped at 78 degrees. Uh, the reason for that is the rotor has some coast time. I also turned the brake on a little late uh, just to save uh, wear and tear on the gears. Uh, but it's always within two or three degrees max, which is uh, plenty. Um, again, I'll I can uh, set it here. I'll set it for 122. Hit set button. And she takes off again. Gives you the time it takes to get there. There it is. Um, then I have a menu option, and uh, I'll show you where I can set up. I can set the time, set pos what position one the preset program is. Set position two, ID warning. I can set it totally on or off, or set it for um, every ten minutes. In which case, it every ten minutes it beeps and just gives you a Morse code ID tone. Uh, the rotor setup is if you have a different type of rotor, uh, it'll work on several types. Several types, um, and uh, that's just if you go to that screen, it tells you what to do to, to set up the different uh, for the different rotors. Uh, I can force a turn if for some reason it doesn't something's not working right. You can go to force turn, hit it, and then force it to turn uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, and uh, for debugging purposes or whatever. Um, we'll just get back out of there. I had a reset button, and, and uh, there I'll take you right through it. Now it tells you it's the ID warrant is set at 10 minutes. There's what your position, your preset positions are set for, and uh, then it should go back. There it goes. The lights just blink to tell you it's ready, and it, you get a little beep. I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, green light means it's stopped. Yellow light means it's turning anytime one of the rotor relays is on. It says it's turning. Error light is I do a test to make sure that any turn you do it take is, is within 30 percent of what it should take. Um, that way, if that arrow light ever flashes at you, it's saying, hey, the rotor's in a bind or it's turning too slow or, or you're at the end or something, but it um, doesn't normally come on, hopefully. Um, that's just about it. Um, it's uh, If you see my last video of the other controller, it's uh, this one's quite a bit improved. So, thank you.